are going into effect today, including a 10 p.m. curfew for restaurants and a limit on outdoor dining at 50% capacity. A spokesperson for the California Restaurant Association says they haven't seen proof of a link between outdoor dining and the rapid spread of the virus. And if the data is there terrific, we just haven't seen it or it hasn't been released publicly yet. He says outdoor dining has kept some restaurants alive, albeit hanging by a thread. John Perry. KNX 1070. You're getting, yeah, beginning tomorrow night, uh, getting used to being a homebody at night. The governor isn't calling it a lockdown, but he does not want people out and about late at night. It's a one-month curfew. Unless it is essential activity, stay inside 10 p.m. to 5 in the morning, beginning this Saturday through December 21st. That is what the governor is asking of 90% of the people who live in California. What does it mean when levels are this high across the state? It really means that activities that you normally do are higher risk today than they were a month ago. Dr. Mark Galley talking about this curfew, about how it could help. Uh, just days ago, we were just climbing over 3,000 cases in the hospital across the state today. Um, over 4,500. The scope of this curfew to curb coronavirus infections across California is massive. 41 counties in the state of California currently in the purple tier deemed the most dangerous for coronavirus infections. Craig Ficker, KNX 1070 News Radio. I saw an image on social media this morning inside one of the terminals at LAX. I haven't seen crowds like that for quite a while. Apparently a lot of people interviewed said they didn't want to change their travel plans. Now when it comes to the curfew, Dr. Anthony Fauci, uh, he gets behind the kind that's being imposed in California. It is certainly true that in other countries, curfews, for example, the bars closing at certain times, the restaurants closing at certain times, has actually helped when you look at what